Liana? You okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fine. I'm talking too much, huh? Yeah, I'm talking too much. Look, you go ahead. I have something to tell you. Okay. I just don't know how you're gonna take it. Shoot. I have alopecia. Alopecia? You mean like hair loss alopecia? Right. Oh. Nia's gonna have a problem with this. Nah, nah, it's cool. Um, my cousin actually had it. Completely cool. So are you like... Fully bought or... I, I, I can show you. Whoa, yeah, it's not necessary. Are you, are you okay? I'm cool, I'm cool, yeah. Completely cool. Are you sure? You look a bit knackered. Yeah. No, no, I'm good. Great. Actually, I need to run to the restroom right quick, so if you could go over there and wait for me. Be right back. Food, you know. Brandon. Boy. Hey, it's midday on the North Carolina coast. I want to give a huge shout out to Mrs. Smith's Salon off Shipyard Below. New girl working here, her name is Nellie. Man, her hair looks horrible. How are you gonna work in a salon and your hair looks worse than the people that's coming in here? <laughs> Miss Smith, you need to stop. <laughs> it's true. Then she had the nerve to ask me if she could get her paycheck early so she could bail her boyfriend out of jail? I mean, what kind of mess is that? I, I hope you don't tell my business like that. No, and even if I wanted to, you don't give me enough to work with. I've got nothing. I've known you and your mom for a while now. Neither one of you told me when you first found out about alopecia. Well, there's just some things in my life I'd rather not talk about. I know, and I get that. But sometimes, girl, you just gotta let it out. You've gotta get it off your cleavage, both of them. Get, get it off my chest. Yes, ma'am. Well, when I was around nine. Hurry, your bus is coming, hurry. Did your mother say anything to you when you got home? Actually, no. She didn't have to. A few days later, we were in my bedroom and... 
Liana? 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 Liana, what's the matter? And that's where it all started. Then there were the kids, school, the neighbors, the comments, not to mention the relationships. Oh, Mrs. Smith is truly sad for you, but that's all in the past now. You don't need to worry about that. What you need to do is focus on God and that handsome man he's gonna bring you. God, yes. A man, well, I'm not quite ready for that right now. I know, but don't you give up on what God has in store for you? Because sometimes it's not about you. I mean, you act like you lost an arm or something. Just get over it. Uh, see, that's just it. People are always saying, get over it. But it's not that easy. It's like everywhere you look, your hair, it's your beauty. It defines you. But what about us who don't have it? I'm going to tell you one thing. If you use that tone with me again, Alopecia is going to be the last of your worries. I'm sorry. Now. So what's your name? I'm sorry, I have somewhere very important to go. Come on, just tell me your name. I gotta know. I'm, I'm sorry. I just want to know who you are. Why? Because I'd be a fool not to. don't have to stay here. I can handle this. <sighs> it's alright. I don't really have anywhere else to go. Besides, I have Robin coming. 
Robin, you tricked her into coming here? Oh. Wasn't that hard? Well, just look out for Sophia's nephew. He's supposed to be bringing the dessert. What is this? This does not look like the party you described to me. If I would have told you, would you have come? So you lied? No. Well, yes. Sorry. You call yourself a Christian mentirosa? Just need your help. Help with what? Changing diapers? Nothing. Exactly. See, I have a real party to go to. Adios. Robin. Just a little bit. Ooh. That's him. Bumped into him earlier at the salon. And you let him go? What's wrong with you? Just bad timing. Uh, Actually, I almost ran him over with my car. Tata loca, mija. Well, not on purpose. It's just, he got in front of it and I'm trying to leave. Hi. My Aunt Sophia told me to bring this for you, ladies. Hi. Hey. <laughs> this is gonna be good. <laughs> I could have died trying to get your name today, you know. I'm sorry, I was in a hurry. You in a hurry now? Kind of. The kids. You know, you're very beautiful, Liana. Um, thank you. I'll be back. I'll be back. are you running from? I'm not ready for a relationship, marriage, or some kids. Are you crazy? I know what you're running from. You okay? I just wasn't expecting that. Sorry. Terrence and I came up with an awesome idea. Because you wanted me to come here to help you with the party. I'll stay here while you two go next door to Jamaican comfort zone. Oh, wait. It's not like he's taking you to his place. Uh, okay. Bye, kids. Have fun. I didn't know Miss Smith was young. Yeah. Yeah, she's awesome. She does good work too. I love your hair. Oh, thank you. Do you know everything she does? I thought I did. I don't know. Uh, is there something she does that I'm not aware of? Oh uh, no, I was I was just wondering. So what brought you to Wilmington? Um. Well, um. My dad was in the military. And he met my mom. Mom, he was on holiday in Portland, England. Cool. And um, unfortunately, he passed when I was about six. I mean, long story short, um, I ended up coming to school here. Um, so evolution brought you here. Kind of a long story. I I struggled a lot in high school, mm -hmm. and barely made it to college. Finally got there. And I had this professor, he was great. He was a really cool guy. He believed in me. So, I always knew that I was smarter than the high school system said I was. Okay. And had thought that I could create this code to beat the lottery, oh. to win it every time. Mm. So, by the time I was a senior in college, I, I dropped out. 
Oh, okay. I don't, I don't think I'm understanding. Why in the world did you drop out when you were so close to ending? What's crazy about it? I don't know if it was just luck or the code worked. But, um, yeah, I hit the lottery for... I had the lottery for $1.5 million. Oh, wow. Well, it's too bad I don't believe in the lottery because I believe God's my provider. Y'all doing all right? Yes. Good, thank you. Is there anything else I can get for you? No, we're good, thank you. Great. Hey, you want to go dance? Right now. You're beautiful. You really are. I hope everyone is well rested on this Monday morning. We have a new employee. I would like to introduce Tasha Sprinkle. Tasha, oh. this is our lead team. Mm -hmm. Tasha, this is Sergio, Nick, Carla, Robin, and Liana. Hi. I would like everyone to welcome Tasha to our team. She has a lot to bring to the table. Yes, yes Robin. I was wondering, just out of curiosity, how do we incorporate Tasha into what we already have to be effective? She has... Uh, well, I got this. Oh, okay. Well, I'm bringing another level. And with that level, I'm going to raise you to the norm and lead you to victory. <laughs> yes, victory. We have some more good news. We have decided who is going to lead our next project. Liana? You will lead our next project. Oh. Can we bring Leanna up here? Congratulations, Leanna. Thank you. Welcome, Tasha. We have a lot of work to do. Please get to work. I guess we can go ahead and get started. We want to go ahead and have a seat. I guess we could get started. Excuse me, may I speak with you for a second? Yes, of course. How can, can I, I help you? you? Of course, sit down. I thought I was hired to lead the project. No, ma'am, what would give you that idea? You said that you liked the way I led other projects at Camille's, right? Yes, I did, but that didn't mean that you would be lead. Well, what does that mean? That means that you can work your way up to lead like Leanna did. What? <sighs> okay. I guess I understand. Okay, great. I'm glad that you understand. Have a great day. She got me to make sure I get a desk or something. Leona Hillman checking in. Yes, ma'am. Have a seat, please. All right, thank you. Love your dress. Thank you. Jessica Smith, I'm checking in. Yes, ma'am. Have a seat, please. Thank you. Hey, what are you doing hey. here? Oh, you know my favorite part, doctor's appointment. Girl, I tell you, don't you hate it? But mm -hmm. here's my thing. Who is the new chick they hired up there with the ugly dress on? Dress. I didn't even notice this. Girl, I saw the dress in the parking lot. <laughs> it was horrible, but anyway. I like what you did with your hair. You oh. said you was going to cut it and stuff. Oh, thank you. I love it. Oh, guess who noticed it this time? Anthony. Oh, yes, he did. Girl, bye. I don't like him anyway. Guys don't really pay attention to stuff that's important to us like that. Like our hair, they don't pay attention to it. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm going to keep it this way because he really, really loved it. You should keep it that way. It's your hair. Don't worry about yeah. it. But look, let me ask you something. Are you off today? Um, mm -hmm, yes, I am. I need a big shower. 
I don't need all my hair done, but I need these edges done. Miss Hillman? Hey, Liana. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. Oh, I like how you decorate the place, like lobby and everything. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You know, your mother was the inspiration for that. The last time you brought her with you to your appointment, she was quite open about my choice of style. So I was just inspired to go ahead and redecorate. So I'm glad you like it. Yeah, that's mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the last time you were here too, you were telling me about a date that you had coming up. So how did it go? Uh, I'd rather not talk about that. Wow, was that bad? It was good, but um, I broke my second date rule. Yeah, had a bit too much confidence and I told him. <laughs> but it's alright though, because he talked a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's better that you know now, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I know it's hard, but trust me, when the right one comes along, you're gonna know it, because that won't matter to him. Okay? Alright, listen, let's get started. I want you to take your wig off for me. I'm gonna close the door. Okay. All right. Okay, how you feeling? Um, it's a little sore. A little tender. Yeah. yeah, that's normal, okay? So what you want to do is go ahead and take that pain medication that I gave you the last time so that you take that, any kind of headaches that you have, it'll help alleviate that. It should be gone by the end of the night, okay? All right, also, I want you to come back in about six weeks and let's see how it's going. You know, with these injections, they're not guaranteed. I gotta be honest with you, there is no cure, but we, this may help to stimulate hair growth. And everybody's story is different, but it's definitely worth a try. So come back in six weeks, maybe we'll have a little peach fuzz, <laughs> and um, we'll take it one step at a time. The other part I wanted to say to you also is, please manage your stress. I know you're going through a lot right now, Leanna, but the stress is not gonna help, gonna help your body to get to heal, for your hair to grow back, so be mindful of that. Don't worry so much. It's gonna be okay, all right? All right, so say a prayer for me at church tonight. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> you forgot. I gotta All go. Right. Bye. <laughs> Lord, when you called me long ago, I said yes. Sometimes I go all alone, but my answer is yes. As long as you're on the throne, my soul says yes. God is good, baby. Trials yes, he is. Yes, he way. is. He's so good. So good. Yes. Can you control yourself? Honey, when the spirit hits you, you can't help but control yourself. Hallelujah. Yes. Many sleepless yes. Nights, yes. yes. But through my Thank tears, you. I say yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. <clears throat> it took you so long. <sighs> it took you so long. It's busy. Oh. What's this? What's this? Hi. Come. Hi. Hi. Mrs. Felix, give me the cream. Yeah, Mrs. Felix, give me the creeps. Anyway, I was busy. Oh, whatever. Yes, I'm sorry, I asked you. You're so secretive sometimes. Oh, let's just enjoy the conference. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Nevertheless, uh, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in the Lord. Amen? For as the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman, but all things of God. Amen. Judge in yourselves, is it comely that a woman pray unto God uncovered? Doth not even nature itself 
teach you that if a man have long hair, is it a shame unto him? Hear me now. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. Amen. Y'all women so deep in the world, you don't even know what's good for you. But Juliana, when I heard the message, you laid heavy on my heart, baby. Because you know what? God put it on my heart, honey, to let you know, honey, the word was revealed, baby. You think about it. Think about it. The word was revealed. All right? You should at least call him so that he knows you're interested. Oh, I hope he knows I'm interested. I find I'm quite fit. I know he's interested also. How'd you know that? Come on. Lisa? Ready? Go. For you. Oh, wow. Hi. What, what's, what's all this? Uh, this is just me letting you know I've been thinking of you. And what if I had something to do after work? I come back tomorrow. I thought we could hang out. Oh, I hope he did not come to get me for some child support. I just started this job. What is he doing here? You ready or what? <laughs> come on, hop in. Terrence and Liana. First my job, now my man. Mm. Wanna go get a drink after this? No, thank you. Come on, it'll be fun. Proverbs 2320. Don't number? drink to be drunk and don't eat to be fat. Uh, okay. I'm just joking. Yeah. Look how clear the sky is right now. Wow. But if we came right here at night, the stars would be unbelievable. Actually, if we did that, I could tell a good little story. Did you know the stars tell a story? Wait. No, I didn't. No. I used a star <laughs> map using a cylindrical projection before. <laughs> what? I studied astronomy in high school. I used to do it all that. Cool. What did you do whenever you went to college? Um, I actually, I, I got a full ride. I just didn't take it. You got a full ride to college. You got to be some sort of genius or something. Why didn't you take it? What happened? Were you scared of something? Or... No. Are you sure you weren't? I mean, something had to happen. You don't just pass that up. No. Come on, you can tell me. I wasn't afraid of anything. Liana, I just don't get it. You've worked so hard. Do you know how proud your dad would be at this very moment? You've got a big opportunity at a big university, and you go one month and then you quit? I didn't like it. I understand, darling. The kids, they're mean. I get it. But you can't keep running from this forever. If it is an alopecia, It'll be something else. Something else? Yes. I don't feel beautiful. I don't even feel pretty. Mommy, this is ruining my life. Life, 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 life. 
I'm sorry about earlier. It's okay. Well, stuff happens, I guess. Are we okay? Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. We are the masters of our fate. We are the captains of our soul. <laughs> Sergio, pull up that video, the one he showed me the other day about the pool and that person diving in. Nick, I need you to come and look at those layouts. Um, can, can I bring my wings? Yes, Nick, come on. Yeah, Nick. <laughs> Yeah. Did you, you pull it up already? Give me a second, let me find it. You need to hurry up and move from 3G to 4G. The world I mean, phone. come on now. Hey, everybody. Hey. hey. Girl, I had to tell you what was going on. You remember when I was talking with you about my boyfriend the other day? No, I don't talk to you. <laughs> Crazy. We're such good friends. No. Girl, he keeps calling me. He is really pushing a marriage issue. He is ready to settle down, and I just don't know what I should do. I mean, he is talking to some other woman, and but we have a child together, and you know clearly I love him. So I'm just trying to figure out what I should do. <sighs> Maybe I should just go ahead and settle down. So I'm asking you for some advice. Oh, you were asking his name? No, his no. name is Terrence. You probably don't know him, or maybe you do. Well, his aunt owned that salon on Castle Street. You know Miss Smith. <coughs> <coughs> oh, she got right. Okay, one bite at a time now. <laughs> but so I'm just trying to figure out what I should do. I just okay. I've heard enough. A good friend. I've heard enough, honey. Uh, let me think about it. and I'll get back to you. Okay. <laughs> You're such a good friend. Oh, Thank you, girl. Cause I, I, I just need to give him some sort of answer, you know. Mm -hmm. So we'll go from there. Mm. You know better. Okay. Toodaloo. Adios. That was weird, oh my god. Coincidence, right? I have a feeling you two are not gonna get along, honey. Are you coming in? <laughs> no. Come on, you always have an excuse. You've never been in my pool once. Whatever. Actually, I came over to talk to you about something. Um, okay, talk. Maybe after we eat. Okay, we'll just take a quick dip. I have a change of clothes. You'll love it. No, no, no. What, 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 what are you doing? Come on, no, don't stop playing. Stop playing. You wanna try some, baby? No. You know, I noticed you never say your prayers before you eat. Well, you always say your prayers before you eat. Because I want to honor God and thank Him for my food. Yeah, that's cool, but I mean, I don't. And why is that? Because I don't believe in God. Okay, come again! I don't believe in God. Don't you think this is something that was really important that you should have brought up in the very beginning of our relationship? I mean, how important can it be if it's just coming up now? I would think that if a woman says that she's saving herself for the sake of God, that maybe God might be a bit important to her. Yeah, but I knew a ton of church girls who said that they were saving themselves, and they gave it up like that. 
But I'm not a church girl. I'm, I'm a Christian. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'm sorry. I got to go. Well, let's talk about it. Don't... Don't leave. This is a lovely home you have here. Thank you. Well, Leona tells me you don't believe in God. Mommy! It's okay. Yes, it's true, Mrs. Hillman, I don't believe in God. You are hungry. You don't have food at your house. Me. It's cool, baby. No, it's fine. No, it's just that this pizza is delicious, handmade, and I could see where Leona gets it from. Leona can do a little something. After her dad passed, she had no choice but to help out. I know. Um, I'm sure that was hard, but hey, she was taught by the best. <laughs> Thank you. thought about marriage? All the time. I mean, how can I not? Look at her. Manny Feast is gonna need an EBT car to feed you. <laughs> okay, it's just because the food was amazing and I could see what a good job you did teaching Liana. Rubbing it on a little thick, huh? My mother told me that good manners will get you far in life. But not into heaven. Mommy, this isn't your problem. My house, my problem. So just tell me, what demon invited you here? You invited me here. All right, Mr. Smarty Pants. Just calm down. Okay. There's no evidence that God exists. Can you tell me where he came from? Cause you can't tell me where she came from. So, I mean, if he is real, let's say he is real. So, what separates him from all the other gods mm. to make him the one true god that you church folk claim he is? I'll, <coughs> let me... <coughs> Mommy? <Sure>. Uh, <coughs> let me... <coughs> <coughs> all about I'm sorry sorry doesn't cut it sorry doesn't excuse you disrespecting my mother I was just voicing my opinion it's not what you said it's how you said it look I was just being honest you know about being honest right I have something to tell you what Come on, Leona, tell me. We're good. Just tell me, Leona. You know what? Let's just let's just go. I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna get gone. It's it's too late to drive back. Just take the couch. You sure? Hey, I don't want to send you to hell or anything like that. Really? No. Come off it. Just be here. Okay.
just a kiss. It's okay. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna go watch TV then. <laughs> Father, I want to thank you for being you. You said, ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door shall be open. Oh Lord, I'm knocking really loud right now. I'm asking for strength keep myself pure. Well, that sexy man sleeps on that couch. I thank you in advance. How you doing today, ma'am? Got a flyer for you, hot out the press. You gonna wanna check it out? There's some guy out there trying to harass me. Up uh, front? Yeah. I'll take care of it, no problem. Hey, Calvin, hey. Listen, um, if I'm gonna have you sitting out in front of my store, I'm gonna need you to be just a little bit more friendly, you know, friendlier with the customers that are coming in and out. Please, just a little bit, okay? All right, thank you, appreciate it. What's up, man? You gonna play that lotto? Got the winner ticket for you. Guaranteed winner. Yeah, I'm cool. You sure? No man, you look like a pick three, pick five type of guy. Yeah, I know I got the number right here. Check it out. Guaranteed. Can't lose. You thank me later, buddy. You girls are just crazy. You shave your eyebrows off just to draw them back on. Mm. Stupid. Then again, everyone can't be perfect like me. I get the hint that you have a problem with me. Oh, you get that hint? Honey, if I have a problem with you, trust me, you will know it.
Lord, I need you right now. I can't go on hiding. I don't understand how something so simple can be so hard to tell someone. Just three words. I have alopecia. It's not as simple as it feels. But I know I've got to tell someone. Someone. I can't believe you have me out here like this. It's just hair. People are always saying that. I think you're making more of this than what it is. What did Terrence comes out here? <laughs> it's cheap behind. How are you gonna win the lottery and still be stingy? <laughs> come on, let's go. Okay. Move now. It's an American thing. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Wes, what's up? How you doing? Come here, give me some love. What I'm you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Very good. What brings you around here? Well, my best friend wasn't feeling too well, so I figured it'd be good to cheer her up a bit. And okay. Bring her out, okay. So. Liana West, West Liana. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Hello. I gotta tell you, Robin, you always stay with the pretty girl clique. Well, what can I say? Pretty girls need to stick together. I, I hear you, I hear you. Mm -hmm. You know what? Matter of fact, I got something to cheer your friend up. Okay. Give me a couple minutes, hmm. and I'll be right back, All okay? Alright, we'll see what you got. Chill out, chill out. Right. I'll be back. Okay. Alright. <laughs> this might be your best plan yet. I told you. You're making more of this than what it is. You just gotta trust Robin, okay? I'm not your best friend for nothing, baby. <laughs> At least I made you laugh, see? Let's go. I'm back, I'm back. You know what? I went to go get my friend Brandon. Brandon, this is my old friend Robin. Nice, nice to, meet, to you. meet you. Her friend was feeling a little down, so I brought you over here. Her friend name is Liana. Liana, this is my friend Brandon. What, y'all know each other or something? You know what? Okay. Robin, you gonna come to my table, okay? okay. All right. We'll leave them alone, let them get acquainted, okay? All right, well, I'll be back, you be good, okay? I love you, okay, I'm How are you? Hey, good. Feeling better? Huh? Are you feeling better? Is that your friend? Yeah, let me go over there real quick. Alopecia, you need to stay away from her because I heard it's contagious. I think it might be cancer. I just don't 
understand. Is there something you want me to do? Why? Why can't you just tell me? Why are you making this so hard? Oh, God. My Lord and Savior. Why? Why aren't you talking to me? Why? Do you hate me? Do you? Not sure if this is gonna make you feel any better. It wasn't Alpecia that made him leave you at the table. He likes white girls. And all the words in the English dictionary, that's what you come up with in my issue. Girl, I'm gonna smack the crust out of your lips. How are your lips ashy? You like my flowers? Mm hmm, sure. Terrence, he sent them to me. I think I'm gonna say yes. Guess to what? Marriage, silly. Oh, oh congratulations. Thank silly. you. I thought I told you he asked for my hand in marriage. Well, I thought I told you. Yeah, he said that the other girl he was talking to was trying to pressure him to be some preacher or something. She's so whack. Yeah, so he clearly gets the picture. He wants the family, and he knows that I'm more of a woman than she will ever be. <gasps> I gotta go. Gotta put my flowers in some water. <laughs> Love. Is that your Terrence? I hope not. Hold up. What about this white girl thing? Excuse me, sir. Can I help you with something? Son, are you okay? Uh, are you waiting for somebody? No, sir. Well, yeah, kinda. Well, who are you waiting for? I don't know. Can I help you with something? I can't let you just sit out in this parking lot. What's this church service like? You know how I feel about gambling. Come on, it's a little bet. $20, I could get it to you on the first spin. Come up with something else. Okay. Well, I could think of another game with a bottle and me and you. Spin the bottle. <laughs> Truth or dare? I'll go first. Okay. Truth. Truth, okay. Um, let's see. Mm. Hmm. Who's Tasha? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. How do you eat? Uh, How do you know about uh, her? Answer the question. She's nothing. I mean, that was a that was a fling. It was a it was a mistake. It's over. It's over. Okay. Your turn. Why haven't you gone to college? I let something hold me back. What is it that you've been meaning to tell me? Something that is very hard to say, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep it to myself.
up for you. Truth or dare? Uh, I guess truth. I don't know now. All right. Do you have a son? Yeah. Yes, I do. He's seven. See you later, alligator. What's up, buddy? What's up? How you doing, man? Good. You good? You do your homework? Yes. Hey, I want you to meet Liana. Liana Terrell, Terrell Liana. Hi, Terrell. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Dad, can we play a game? Yeah, we can play. Let me go upstairs real quick. I'll be right back. Let me go upstairs. He's yours and Tasha's son. Well, no, he's my son and Tasha Adam. But he didn't have a dad and he needed one. It was me and him. Why did you feel like you had to keep this from me? <clears throat> Make sure you're the one. So, what do you like to do? Um. Oh, well, I like sports and I want to be an actor. So I can have a supermodel girlfriend. My dad says you're his supermodel. <laughs> you're my dad's girlfriend, right? I guess. You have to be. You're the only woman he talks about. Uh, well, that's good to know. Do you have a girlfriend? Well, this is one girl I'm in class I'm afraid to talk to. Why? Because I'm um, black, she's white. Sometimes I wish I was white. Why would you wish something like that? Um, well, because every, all the girls in my class are white. And sometimes I feel embarrassed because they don't know what I'm talking about. What kind of stuff? You know, like black TV shows, music and stuff. You should be happy with who you are. God made you the way you are because you are special. Well, I know I'm special. You know what? I'm gonna be just like you. Like me? Why? Because you know you're special and you're not afraid of who you are. Hello? What? Dr. Johnson? Yes. I have Dr. Johnson? Yes, I have Dr. Messer on line three. I'll transfer. Thank you. How can I help you? Hi, I'm Mrs. Smith. I'm here to see Miss Hillman. Okay. Um, patient's first name? Is Gloria. Gloria Hillman? Yes. And your relationship to that patient? I'm her best friend. Please have a seat and let the doctor know that you're here. Okay, thank you. Dr. Johnson? I have a visitor here for Mrs. Hillman. Thank you. Hi, Mrs. Smith. Yes. Hi, Dr. Johnson. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, first off, I'd like to apologize. Due to the fact that you're not immediate family, I can only dive on so much information. Wherever you are on the visitation list. Okay, so I can see her. Yes, ma'am. If okay. you will, please follow me. Good, thank you.
fix you something to drink, okay? bad timing. Um, I'm going to be busy the, the whole weekend. No, no, I'm just getting together with the, a few old friends. I promise, I promise to let you know when it's a better weekend soon, okay? Okay, bye-bye. Are you serious? You cannot be this stubborn. Oh my goodness. Are you still fighting to keep your mouth closed? Your daughter needs to know that her mother was just in the hospital. I see where she gets this hiding stuff from. It's been for her. He's having a good year, but you gotta give Cam Newton a chance too, though. I mean, oh gosh, all I'm gonna do is talk about football. Oh come on, Olivia Brady's so much better. You know that. Let me chat with my man right here. It was good seeing you. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. <laughs> come on, honey. There he is, the Lotto King himself. Not today, man. What's the matter? You didn't hit that winning ticket? No, hey. What's the matter? Is this is you. This you stand out here all day talking to people about religion, yeah. really? I'm tired of it. Oh, relax, man. Relax, okay? I didn't mean nothing about it, man. Just chill out. All right, so let me ask you this then. If God is so real to you, where did he come from? Where did God come from? You know everything. Now, I didn't say I know everything, but I will tell you, God, he didn't come from nowhere. Right, okay. So, that doesn't explain anything to me. All right, man, look. First and foremost, you obviously have an issue with God. That's your problem. All right, but, but think about this. Think about this, okay? The Bible clearly states he's the beginning and the end, okay? The beginning. And Nothing was made without him. Stats. All right, man, he's the creator of, of time, about air, and space. All right? I mean, he's not bound to it. You know why? Because he created it. It's hard for us to wrap our minds around it because, I mean, obviously we've always existed in time, air, and space. You know what? Maybe you should try to understand God instead of trying to figure him out. Because you never will be able to do that. You know why? Because you're not him. Look, man, I, I see you coming through here all the time, you know, playing these lottery tickets. I don't know what you're going through. I mean, you mind if I pray for you? <laughs> Straight here? Why not? Alright, I guess, yeah. You're not embarrassed, are you? I don't, I never did it. I'll show <laughs> you. It's the first time for everything. Bye, you hit. Alright. 
this is what we have from the collection of submissions that everybody submitted. Any questions? I think it's missing some sex appeal. See, now why was my part not kept in the campaign? It has sex appeal. I like it. It's family friendly. Mm -hmm. I agree with Sergio. My part, sex appeal, add it back in and it would be perfect. Exactly. But the brand of the company is family friendly but bold. I do believe the bold is missing. I think Robin's idea best represents the brand. Their, their brand is NGP. Nice girl power. Sex appeal. <sighs> no. We can come up with something more. Uh, bald. I do believe the bald is missing. Oh, I, I like it. It's, it's bold, it's beautiful, it's confidence, it screams nice girl yeah, power. I love it. I hate it. I mean, a bald woman? That ain't sexy or beautiful. <laughs> Nick. Do you want an ugly, bald-headed woman? If I like it. Just because she's bald doesn't mean she's ugly. That's not what you're supposed to say. But that's what I expect from a grown kid. Tasha, this is unnecessary. Oh no, it's important that I get my point across. Society wants a woman with long, beautiful hair who doesn't steal people men or their jobs. Tasha, that is enough. Terrence doesn't want no bald-headed woman. Trust me, I know. But I should have been leaving. That's this. why your son's going to be calling me mummy. Robin, go get security. Did you hear me? Nick, go get security. Is this why you wanted a bald-headed heifer in your campaign? Terrence does not want... He doesn't know that you're bald. <laughs> oh, he's about to find out now. Baldy locks, look at her, she's just a bald-headed heifer, look at this! Please, please don't tell her. <laughs> Baldy locks, look at this. She's bald! <laughs> she needs a chair! Hello.
separates Jesus from all the other gods? Yeah. Well, the answer is grace. And I know this now, but I'm glad because I would have realized what kind of confusion it caused between us. Confusion. There would have been no confusion. Oh, you don't think so? No. I was actually going to pick up the phone and break it up a few months ago, but I decided to wait. Beach is so beautiful. What's that? I think he's gonna ask me to marry him. That's great. Isn't it? Still haven't told him. Wow. Liana. What is it that you truly want? I want him to love me for who I truly am. But how can he when he doesn't know who you truly are? What are you listen. doing? Just listen. When I first saw you, I knew that you were special. I didn't know what it was that made you special, but I understand now. I never thought I would fall in love. And I never thought that God would make the perfect person for me. but I think that he made us for each other. 
and um, you're my best friend. And the love of my life, I just I hope you feel the same way too. Liana, will you marry me? Liana! I haven't been honest with you. What are you doing? I'm finally telling you the truth. I'm showing you the real me. I'm sorry, but this is the real me. I'm just tired of hiding at work, at home, at school. Most of all, I'm tired of hiding from you. I thought you knew. That I knew what? I thought you knew that I knew you had alopecia. Who? What? From the first day we met, whenever you almost hit me with the car, I went and asked my aunt all about you. That wasn't going to stop me from wanting you. I knew. This whole time. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Hey, it's okay. Listen. You know whenever a person gives their life to Christ, and an angel is assigned to them. Well, you're that angel for me. I didn't know what grace looked like and I didn't know wh what a blessing was until I met you. Until I met you and whatever it takes to do this, I'm willing. I'm willing. So please, will you marry me? No. You don't know the real me. Are you listening to me? I already know. It's fine. I'm not like most women. The ones that have dealt with their insecurities. I'm still dealing with mine. How can I expect you to love me if I don't love me? This is gonna always have some type of profound effect on me no matter what we're doing. No matter what we're doing. Can you handle that? I'd be a fool not to. Um, Robin, guess what? Um, come on. <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> so come on down, Robin, so we, we can celebrate. <laughs> Bye. All right, we're about to tell him that we're about to have. Hey, you want to go to something new? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh. What are you doing? I'm trying to get in the car. <laughs>
But, um, um, that supplies for you. Look! Girl. <laughs> yes! Surprise! <laughs> yes, we're having a go.